Hi, my name is Jeff Bernier, and I'm here today to kind of give you a brief understanding of lighting. And a lot of people ask me about what kind of lights should I buy and how do you light for video? Well, there's a lot of answers to that. Now, first of all, we're in my studio right now where all of the lighting that I have on me right now is fluorescent lighting. And I like it because it's cool, it doesn't get hot uh, like the old uh, halogen bulbs that would, you know, be, be sweating underneath because we have a lot of light in here right now. The fluorescent bulbs are, this is actually a smaller one, the ones that we have in all of these lights here are more like about this big, they're 105 watt. Uh, what's important to know is that they're going to be photo bulbs. Don't go to Home Depot and just buy some because the professional photo bulbs are going to be labeled right on it with the color temperature. And you want to make sure that they're all the same temperature. It, all fluorescent lights are not even. But we're aiming for about 5600 Kelvin. Now what is Kelvin? That's how they measure lighting temperature in studio lights and it can range from on average 3200 to 5600 with 3200 being incandescent type bulbs. That's a warmer temperature. If we have all incandescent bulbs that we're shooting in and the camera's set to 32, 3400, it's gonna be, they give off more of a brownish tint. But if we had the camera set for daylight, everything's gonna look brown and we don't wanna do that, of course. Well, sometimes we may want to, to intentionally give it a look. And cooler lights or fluorescents and LEDs are going to be in the range of 5600 Kelvin or the same as daylight. So let's say we're shooting in a house, for instance, and we're doing an interview or something, and there's a lot of windows. Ideally, fluorescent lights or LEDs are going to be perfect because we can match the color temperature to the color temperature coming in from the windows and we're not going to have competing temperatures like that. For instance, if we were filming or had all incandescent bulbs or a lower, warmer color temperature, as the talent walks closer to the window with 5600K, they're going to become more blue and then they're going to get more brown skin tones as they move towards the our warmer color temperature. So the idea is that we want to match everything up as closely as possible. There's a lot of uh, on-camera LED mounted lights out there right now that you can dial in and change the color temperature from warm to cool, 3200 to 5600, or there's full LED studio lights like that too. We use the LED studio lights, uh, the big ones, for when we're shooting on location because they're easier to move, they're more compact, they fold up. These big lights that we have in here with the fluorescent bulbs that are that big, they break really easy, the bulbs, and they're in big soft boxes, so it's kind of hard to move them around a lot, so we prefer to use the LEDs. So I like using soft boxes on these. Um, it's got a nice soft filter on the front, and then as you take it off, you see it's got a reflective lining underneath it and the bulb underneath. Uh, the soft boxes filter here helps to soften and diffuse the light so that it gives a more pleasing soft look onto the subject. 